Hi and welcome to this video. Now I've been teaching people on stock market and trading for last 10 years. I've been teaching in NSC and ICICI and other prominent names of this industry. In my training seminar, I asked people to go on to NSC website. I asked people to check the stock price of big and well-known companies like Reliance, HDFC Bank, Infosys, Kotak Bank, ICICI Bank, Bajaj Finance and other companies like these. Even if it's a small company, the result will be the same and we'll see. I asked them to check its share price. So let's do that exercise right now as well. So let's go on to NSC's website and check the share price of some of these companies. So let's look at Reliance share price. So this is the website for NSC and Reliance is trading at around 2100 rupees. Now if you look at Infosys, Infosys is trading at 972. We got HDFC Bank here trading at around 1700 rupees. ICICI is trading at around 359. And we also have Bajaj Finance trading at around 3300 rupees. Now let's look at their price again and this time around I want you to look at the price fluctuation in a year. So if we start with Reliance again, so this is what Reliance 52 week which is one year low and high looks like. So its low was 866 and its high was 2198. So the difference between high and low is more than double and that's just within one year. If you look at Infosys, Infosys low, 52 week low was 509 and its high is 986. This is again almost double the difference. Same is the case with HDFC Bank. You got the low as 1473 and high as 2499. That's again, you know, around, uh, you can say around 50%, more than 50% difference between low and high. Same is the case with ICICI, 268 and 3552, 52 week high and low. Again, this is 100%, uh, you know, from the low, the high is double, the difference is double. And the Bajaj Finance, we see, you know, almost 2.5 times the difference between the 52 week high and 52 week low. Now, these are the big companies. Reliance has a market cap of 92 billion and it more than doubled from the lows. So from around 35 billion, it market cap doubled to 92 billion. Now, did something happen in Reliance? Did the Re uh, Reliance Geo sales double? Uh, Reliance Trend sale, did it double? Infosys, now if you look at Infosys, Infosys market cap also doubled from 6 billion USD to 13 billion USD now. So again, did the revenue of Infosys double that we have double the market cap now? And HDFC Bank, its market cap also almost doubled from around 40 billion to 79 billion in about 52 week. So did HDFC Bank suddenly started giving double the uh, loan amount? Did HDFC Bank's interest income double in the last one year? The answer is no. So how can this be? These are well-known companies Ownership of these companies are divided into millions of shares. That means a lot of people buy and sell these shares. Then how can it be that a company like Reliance can double in about a couple of months? So if you look at Reliance, this is what Reliance did. In January, its share price was around 1600 
from there it dropped down to 900 in the month of March and in about couple of months the stock price more than doubled from 900 to 2100 now now again how can this be what can be the reason for this and it's not just restricted to the big companies even the mid and small cap companies so if you look at Manapuram in the year 2018 in the month of May the price for Manapuram was 125 within the space of couple of months it dropped to 70 that's like a 50% drop almost and then it uh, you know rose again and uh, you know around 40 50% and again went back to those 125 130 levels in about five six months and then it further went up so in the year you know the current year in the month of Feb it was around 190 from there it fell to 80 rupees that's you know 50% cut and then again it went back to those levels of 185 190 in the month of July so these drastic price changes happens now the reason can be anything reason can be anything people are crazy market may be doing its thing might be doing its tricks but the important thing to realize here is that we can take advantage of these wild price swings and you would find these opportunities more in mid and small cap because they have a wild swing most of the times normally you'll see the results would be the same for all the companies you know month on month year on year there would not be drastic difference between the uh, the results that the company come up with but mid and small cap would tend to react a bit more on these news so as we can see here in the case of Manapuram uh, well in the year 2020 the reason why every company fell was because of coronavirus but as we can see in Manapuram even before that there were wild swings and we would see this frequently in mid and small cap stocks and we would want to take advantage of this market volatility is something you should not fear you should rather look to take advantage of it market volatility will give you an opportunity of buying low and selling high if you invest in good quality companies be it large mid or small sized company a fall in the price is an opportunity by learning few skills like technical analysis you will be able to use market swings more effectively so keep learning keep moving forward and i'll see you in the next video